Hey guys, what's up? This is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every morning before we go out and fight the good fight. You can catch the EIA every day at 9 a.m. Let's get to it. All right, guys, today we're going to be looking at the question, if wires are short in a panel, where is the best place to splice? And I put panel in parentheses on purpose. So the, the, what we're dealing with here is say you're inside of the box and the wire's too short to make it to the breaker or make it to whatever bus bar you're trying to get to. So what do we do? And the answer is you splice it right there on the spot. And let me explain. I know you guys have all heard horror stories of inspectors that made people pull the wires out of the box and splice up above and drop it down below. But honestly, guys, even though we call the whole thing the electrical panel, the the only part that is the electrical panel is the guts where the breakers and the buses are and the rest of it is just a large junction box so we call it the panel but really it's just a large junction box that we've installed an electrical panel inside of so if you pulled that panel out all you're left with is a box and all you're left with is the junction box codes so we find ourselves in 314.16 b1 and we're dealing with conductor box fill because at this point it's just a box fill issue okay if i extend this wire do i you know i've got to watch how many wires i have inside this box you know you know that's the only code that we're having to face here so here's the score guys one thing that you're going to find out is yes the conductor coming in would count as one but if i splice it does it also count as one and if we look here in 314.16 b1 when we're learning you know what is constituted as a conductor that we do count we find at the very bottom of that paragraph that a conductor of which no part leaves the box shall not be counted so the wire that you're splicing the first time is counted but the wire that you add to it to terminate to the breaker or the bus bar is not counted as an additional conductor so you could literally splice every wire inside of this panel and they would only count as the one of where it came in the can every one that you extended none of those count and, you know added you know it's not additive we're not adding those on so you wouldn't say one came in and one spliced it no it's all considered one continuous wire as long as none of those wires leave that junction box so if you're doing splicing inside the box and they originate in the box and do not leave the box meaning you've spliced it or pigtailed it those wires are not an additional count for your box fill i hope this gave you a little bit of clarification today the best place to splice is inside of that can that's the safest place it would be you know the code compliant place and you're never going to be affecting the boxville because here's the score guys that wire was already in the in the can so if you're over on boxville you were over on boxville before you decided to splice it i'm the electrical code coach i hope you guys have a great day go out there and get them today stay safe let's get to it Hey guys, I just want to remind you that I offer free coaching for anyone who needs help in life or business. If you just want to email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com, let's get to it.